Okay, now let's talk about vitamin A, also known as retinol. Right, so the following are the characteristics of vitamin A. Right, the forms of vitamin A. Right, the inactive form or precursor is called carotenoids. Right, so carotenoids uh, can be cleaved into two molecules of retinol. Right, that's activation. They can also be converted uh, reversibly to retinol. So this one is actually a reduction, right? They can be reduced to retinol uh, and they can be oxidized. They can be oxidized to retinoic acid, right? Okay, so again, the inactive form is carotenoids or pro, these provitamins, carotenoids, right? So the active forms are retinol and retinoic acid. Okay, what about the sources? They are plant sources and animal sources, right? So plant sources, here we are talking about, uh, like in plants, they are found as inactive provitamins, uh, especially beta carotene, right? Uh, so th this beta carotene is found uh, in yellow vegetables uh, and leafy vegetables in general, like uh, spinach, uh, and carrots, right? About animal sources, right? In animal sources, they are found like in storage form, in the storage form. Uh, for example, if you eat liver, kidney, fish, eggs, and butter, right? Okay, let's talk about transport. How are they transported in the body, right? So they are transported by a special proteins, right? And there are two forms, right? The first one is cellular retinoic acid binding protein or CREB, right? So this protein selectively binds retinoic acid, right? It's specific for retinoic acid. The second protein is retinol binding protein. This one is a retinol transport vehicle in serum, right? Let's talk about storage. Uh, Vitamin A is stored in, hep in hepatic cells, right? Hepatocytes, uh, particularly in ito cells within the perisonicidal space, also known as the space of DSA. And the storage form, right? The storage form is called uh, retinal esters, right? For example, uh, retinal palmitates. About excretion, vitamin A is excreted via bile and urine, right? Okay, let's talk about the functions of vitamin A. The first one is vision, right? Uh, because retinol, because retinol as an active form is a component of rhodopsin as 11 cis retinol. 11 cis retinol. You understand this when you talk about uh, photoreception and uh, transduction pathways, right? We'll talk about them later, right? Uh, that's the first function of vision. The second function is gene transcription, all right? So here uh, there are two, two things which you need to remember. The first one uh, is a component called all-trans retinoic acid or ATRA, right? So all-trans retinoic acid uh, will bind to nuclear receptors like retinoic acid receptor or retinoid X receptor, right? So this binding uh will cause like binding of transcription factors to promoter genes, right? Uh, the transcription factors will bind to promoter genes. So this will initiate transcription and cell differentiation, right? Again, on a gene transcription, the second uh, thing you need to know is that the vitamins have a role in the regulation of various genes responsible for cell growth, cell differentiation, apoptosis, reproduction, for example, spermatogenesis, and embryonic development. Another function of vitamin A is tissue maintenance and cell differentiation, and this is the job for retinoic acid, right? Uh, this, this retinoic acid actually promotes 
differentiation of epithelium into specialized epithelial tissue right so for example in pancreatic cells and goblet cells right uh the other function is prevention of metaplasia in squamous cells right so retinoic acid prevents metaplasia in uh in squamous cells right Me metaplasia is change from like one for, for example change from squamous cells to another form for example transfusion uh, i mean uh, transitional or cuboidal or etc right okay the other function is antioxidant vitamin a can also act as an antioxidant right what do you need to remember about uh, what i just said okay Retinol is the major component of retinal pigment, rhodopsin, in the rose, which is necessary for vision, while retinoic acid and retinol are involved mainly in gene transcription and tissue maintenance. Right. You can remember it this way. Right. Retinol, that's vitamin A, natures the retina acts as an antioxidant and can be used for acne treatment right you are going to see this last part uh, in therapeutic uses of vitamin a right okay let's talk about uh pathologies right so pathologies of vitamins they can be uh deficiency when the vitamins are not being supplied in enough quantities or toxicity if there is a uh, oversupply of vitamins, they cause toxicity, right? So let's start with a uh, deficiency of vitamin A, right? What causes uh, vitamin A deficiency? Firstly, disorders associated with fat mal malabsorption, for example, inflammatory bowel diseases like Crohn's disease, uh, celiac disease, cystic fibrosis, pancreatic insufficiency, uh, cholestasis, etc right uh then another another cause particularly in developing country is malnutrition right uh, it's most common cause of vitamin a deficiency in developing countries right let's talk about clinical features of vitamin a deficiency right the first one is night blindness also known as nectalopia the second one is xerophthalmia xerophthalmia is a pathological dryness of the cornea or conjunctiva right then uh the next feature this one is specific bitot spots right so these are gray triangular dry patches on the bulb conjunctiva uh, covered by a layer of a foamy appearance right or a, a layer with a foamy appearance let me show you okay so it looks like this this uh bite this is a bite spot right this one which i just circulated here okay so uh bite spots is actually a typical sign of, uh, of vitamin a deficiency and this bite spot is actually caused by squamous cell metaplasia and keratinization of the conjunctiva, right? Uh, then another clinical feature is keratinizing squamous metaplasia of the bladder. Uh, so this one on cystoscopy, they will appear like what? Peel-like plaques, right? Another feature of uh vitamin a deficiency is immunosuppression because vitamin a deficiency increases the risk of measles infection taking a severe course okay we will talk about this again in therapeutic uses of vitamin a the next uh feature is uh xeros cutis this one is uh dryness of skin right and usually maybe scaling like scales on the skin right okay that's about the deficiency of vitamin a now let's talk about toxicity right so what 
what causes toxicity of vitamin A? I said it. It's increased intake via supplements or drugs. Right. So toxicity of vitamin A can be classified into three groups. Acute toxicity, chronic toxicity, and teratogenic effects. This one is a very special, particularly in uh, pregnant women or those who are about to conceive, right? Okay, so let's start with acute toxicity. So the features include nausea and vomiting. Uh, and also they, is, they increase the intracranial pressure, right? They increase intracranial pressure. So the symptoms of intracranial pressure uh, includes vertigo, blurred vision, and headaches. Right, so that's all about acute toxicity. On chronic toxicity, there is alopecia. This one is hair loss. Uh, Arthralgias, that's joint, joint pain. Uh, enlargement of liver and liver toxicity or hepatic toxicity. Uh, then another one which is very important on chronic toxicity is called idiopathic intracranial hypertension. Right? idiopathic intracranial hypertension okay on teratogenic effects uh, so the effects include uh, facial anomalies for example microcephaly microphthalmia and cleft palate uh, other features include uh, cardiovascular abnormalities neurodevelopmental disabilities or even fetal death, right? So what do you need to remember about uh, vitamin A toxicity? You need to remember that isotretinoin, isotretinoin, right? So this one is, uh, is a drug usually prescribed for acne, right? So it's highly teratogenic. You can see how it's written is tetra is tetra right isotretinoin right is highly teratogenic so it is actually contraindicated uh in pregnant women right so uh like if a patient come firstly they are this, this this is very important a negative pregnancy test and two forms of contra contraception are required before prescribing isoretinoin, okay, isotretinoin in women, right? So this drug is actually, um, it's, just a, it's just a form of vitamin A, right? Okay, let's talk about uh, therapeutic uses of vitamin A, right? The first one, I mentioned it in measles. So treatment with vitamin A is recommended for all individuals with vitamin A deficiency since it reduces complications and mortality, right? The second condition where we use vitamin A is like skin conditions. For example, in severe cystic acne, right, like uh, nodulocystic uh, and also rosacea. This one is actually like a chronic inflammation of uh, the skin with unknown uh, etiologies, right? So if this is the case, we use isotretinoin, right? This one is actually 13 cis retinoic acid and root is peoral, right? So this one is actually severe, uh, severe cystic acne. If there is mild acne we use a uh, topical vitamin a topical vitamin a right uh another condition is acute promyelocytic leukemia right so in this condition we can also uh use all transretinoic acid or transretinoic acid okay so what do you need to remember uh like in conclusion, vitamin A should be given to measles patients with vitamin A deficiency to boost their immune system and reduce the risk of complications and mortality, especially in countries where vitamin A deficiency 
is endemic. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please make sure you subscribe so that you won't miss any of our latest videos. Thank you so much. Head bowed.